What's up, y'all? This is Pert back here with another video. Here to talk to you about HBO's new show, The Deuce, starring James Franco. And this show takes place in the 70s in New York City. Early 70s. And um, it's about James Franco's character. There, there's multiple characters, but it's mostly about James Franco's character and his uh and he has a twin brother and he's kind of like the complete opposite of him james franco's character um frankie he's very hard working you know he he seems to have a good head on his shoulders but he's definitely is stressed out um and his brother is kind of like always owing something or he just has a gambling problem kind of but uh i don't want to go too much into like the episode because i kind of want you guys to go experience it for yourself um this show does a really good job of setting the tone of what it was going for and it, it, it was pretty graphic at times not it like violence but definitely sexually it's very graphic um all the characters they show you the pimps they show you you know kids going to college you know they show you so many different aspects like of people and how they're getting by in the city and like um they show you the grit you know the uh just just they they, they go they do a really good job of setting the tone and it, it clocks in at like an hour and a half so it's perfect because i don't think this would have worked with just an hour because they introduce you to a lot of characters Method Man's in this. Um, Bob from The Walking Dead's in this. I don't really know them, their names off the top of my head. I got, I can't, I, I don't want to make this like a really long, super long video. I just wanted to give you my fresh take off it because um, I just finished watching it on Showbox. Um, man, yeah, this, this this show definitely has promise. I think. I think this this show is gonna go. This is gonna be like the next, like probably like maybe Orc Empires because like kind of gave me that vibe and like um I, I like I like I like the characters so far you know everybody's pretty solid you know you got a one prostitute that doesn't have a pimp she's by herself you know what I mean she's grinding by herself but she's gonna end up needing a pimp probably and I kind of to guess where this is gonna kind of go with the whole porn industry booming thing because they haven't really introduced that they only showed you the prostitution part but um i think they're in the like i said i think they're really going in a good direction i'm excited to see more of this show because now that game of thrones is done we can stop talking about it we got so many other shows like i want to do a review on snowfall but that's a whole other video um this is this, this is a really good time for television i i, I could say um because they're introducing a lot of good material now you know but I, I i suggest you guys take a look for the show yourself you know what i'm saying i don't want to like i said i didn't want to make this a really really extremely long video i could have but i just wanted to give you my first takes um Method Man's character, that's pretty interesting. Even though he's kind of like more of a side character. Um, there's another pimp that like, he opened up talking to this other pimp. And, you know, he had this girl come down from, I forget what city she came from. But now she's probably going to be the new his new bottom bitch. Like, it's pretty crazy. I wish I would have known these, these characters' names. I got to watch it again. So like, the next time I make another review... It'll be more detailed, more fleshed out as the series progresses. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, this is Perp. Uh, ch just check me out for my next video. It might be a snowfall video. I might do a Dragon Ball Super video. I'll check you out.